Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Shaking a little bit. We're handheld, so uh, it may shake a little bit. It's uh, overcast, it's spitting a little bit. I don't know if you can see that sky. But it's humid because of that. Anyway, I just been out um, listening to that and I saw this stuff sitting on the curb which is something that you know I can't get away from I don't know why but I just can't and uh, actually I do know why because I find stuff like this um, I actually circled back around this has got uh, that's green and white and there's three drawers anyway this was in there uh, it's a desktop, laptop desktop that sits on your lap. I thought I might clean that up and maybe be able to feed it, yeah, use it to when I take the old Miss for dinner. It should clean up nicely. And then I was thinking because I got that box in the back that I might use these drawers replace that box and it looks like it's going to take about two of them it might take all three this was in there that right there made it worth the stop um, I think it's a shingling hammer it's not, it, at first I, when I first saw it I was like oh my god it's a tomahawk it, it's not a tomahawk uh, I, I think it's a shingling hammer um, I'm not sure because it's not it's not sharp at all but that can be fixed <laughs> so anyway this was the main thing this was what I had seen were these drawers and I was thinking well I can set them up in the back of the brat buggy and set them up fairly well with different things in each drawer so anyway um, this is why I say things are you know, th things are always in in transit. You never know. Like this, you know, I'm going to I'm going to change that whole box around now. Um, add stuff and whatever, because I got a whole lot of room to put stuff in. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just the way it is. I've said I'm not a prepper. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a SHTF type prepper anyway. Uh, I do have. Um, I have a lot of food stuffs on hand. I've always been the type that, well, you never know, you know, when your next paycheck isn't going to come in. Um, you get fired, you know, something happens, or um, especially with me, you fall off a roof and break your arm and, and your leg, and you know, you're out of work for six weeks. So it always it always helps to have food goods put away, whether they're home canned store-bought canned prepackaged whatever I've just always had it so all this SHTF prepper survivalist thing it's like that's every day for me the same with everybody running around trying to get water for the hurricane and whatnot I go up once a week I get uh, five ten I get like 13 gallons of water for the week some weeks I don't have to buy it because we didn't go through so much water other weeks, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go up twice in a week. It just, it really just depends. Um, and by up, I mean, there's a, a, there's a water machine. There's actually two water machines up the corner. They're a quarter, a gallon, or a dollar for five gallons. So, and it's, it's, it's good tasting water. A whole lot better than what comes out of the tap. And then I have bottles saved up for, uh, to put tap water in. If a big storm is coming so again it's not really I don't consider that prepping but I guess I guess in a way it is because I am prepared um, I like to have some first aid supplies on the on on board and and in the house I it's not a first aid kit per se um, I mean I ran as a paramedic for 
nearly 15 years. Um, this what I carry is a basic wound kit. It will it will you know it's a basic basic first aid. Uh, it will support life until uh, better equipped personnel show up. Because there's no I can't carry everything that I would need. So make do and cross your fingers and hope for the best. You know. Um, usually I, I I've always I think I think I've stopped maybe four times to render aid uh, where I've had to actually pull pull anything out of my kits before before an actual first responder got there and was, was equipped to, to, to take over um, and that's in 20 some years maybe maybe 25 years I don't know it's been it's been a while um, so yeah Prepared? Yes. Prepare. Prepper? Probably not. Um, and if 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 the big one goes down, I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let people waste resources on this old man. Uh, I'm old. I'm broken. I can't. I can't walk very far. Uh, although I'm doing better, I still can't. I still couldn't spend a whole day walking. Um, and without my without my medications, without without what what do I want to say? Without the support of the medical profession the way it is today, um, I'm not going to survive. You know, uh, my 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 pacemaker is run by a computer. It talks to a computer once a week and is updated and and it's adjusted and. You know, if if the, if the internet system is down and satellite systems are down or whatnot, this thing doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And uh, yeah, don't wa don't waste the resources. That's 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 just the way I the way I feel now. Until it happens, and then I'll be trying to do everything I can to survive. I imagine because that's just the way the human humans are designed to do but anyway that, that, I'm, I'm babbling and rambling on um, I think I made a couple cool finds I really like this this hammer thing whatever it turns out to be um, I may need to make a sheath for that or figure out some place to put it or I don't know it says gold black 14 ounces it's it's a decent Decent little hammer, whatever it is. Uh, it was worth stopping and picking it up off the court, off the curb. Um, give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up, folks. Leave me a comment down below if you want. Share me around on your social media. I have some links to my social medias down below. I don't do IMs. Uh, if you if you if you uh, send me a private message on Facebook or even here on YouTube or something like that um, I don't really check them that often and when I do you're going to get like a brief answer but I'm not going to be there typing and chatting and uh, that's that's not me I've never been one to go into the loft as they used to say on AOL um, I'll, I'll chat and you know in comments or <laughs> Even my camera's telling me I talk too much. <laughs> uh, I don't know where I was in my in my bye bye so long. See y'all. Um, tell your loved ones you love them. If they're nearby, give them a kiss. We're not promised tomorrow. I hope y'all have a great day. Until I see y'all again. Salam to y'all. Bye bye.